are many people who have asked for third person in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, in today's video, we can do just that. Oh my god! Hello, Henry! Oh, it's so nice to actually see you in third person. That's amazing. This is a mod made by Fuse00. And I will say that you should be using mouse and keyboard for this, not a controller. When you download this, you get a folder called KCD Camera, which you open up, put the third person camera keys into your mod folder, copy and paste the user config into your user config file inside your Kingdom Come Deliverance folder. And if you don't have a user config, just drag and drop this straight into your KCD main folder. And KCD camera tool put on your desktop. Before you run the game, run this tool, and you're set. Press F1, then press F5, and you will have third person. Now I will say, there's a couple of different camera modes. You've got F7 here, which allows you to see under the world, which is uh, pretty freaky. Um, but also, you have F8, which brings up the camera a lot more. So currently I'm using the F7 preset for the axis of the camera right now. So as you guys can see, it's almost right behind Henry. But not only that, you can turn on and off the HUD with a plus and subtract, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to get those cinematic Henry pans, you can do just that. Deep in the body of Henry lies a camera. <laughs> What is that? I'm noticing something inside. I'm wondering if this is uh, damaged pieces of skin, if you get hit with a sword or whatever, and they kind of hid it in here, ready to be put forward when you get hit. I don't know the intricacies of how these games are made, but I think it's pretty interesting that you are able to fully look around Henry with this camera, so you can actually get quite close and see all the damage that's on his face. Also, I love the fact that his sword is literally just hanging off his body. <laughs> I suppose we don't generally see that. So I know what a lot of you are asking for. Combat, does it work in a uh, third person? Let's find out, I guess. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is sneak up behind this guy and go for a, ho ho ho, suck it. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's passed out. Okay, Um. right. What do I do with the body? Um. Yeah, you just lie there and uh, that'll be fine. I'm gonna pick up his, oh God. Oh, well, that's what a, uh, a kill looks like in uh, third person. There you go. Um, could I pick up this guy? Oh, that looks so bloody weird. Um, let's just throw him behind this wall where no one can find the body. <laughs> I think that's going to work, okay? All right, let's just uh, dump this guy here. God, I'm going to have to get used to these PC controls. I always use controller, so uh, this is very weird for me. You're probably also wondering about bow and arrow. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, it doesn't work great. Um... I think, no, that was complete. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to aim for that white thing over there. Let's try and hit that. Okay, we're gonna aim it a little bit like that and fire. Oh, nearly. We nearly got it. Hang on, let me, let me go for another one. And then a little bit to the right. Fire. We hit it. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, you can't use bow and arrow, but I really wouldn't recommend it whatsoever. I think what I want to try and do right now is find a bandit camp and see what we can do in third person. Also, could we ride our horse? Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to have seen that. Okay. Uh, let's get on the horse here. Oh, look at that. Oh. <gasps> Third person Henry. Here we go. Um, can I bring the camera down a little bit? Oh my god, yes. Amazing. All right, let's go. I'm just staring at Al's butt right now. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy with this right now. Oh, now the mod description does say it's a little bit janky. And uh, yeah, it is. But you know what? This is one of the coolest experiences I've had in this game. That's amazing. Now, this mod has actually been around since 2018. So I don't know why I never stumbled across this before now. All right, let's go into a gallop here. I look at <laughs> I love that uh, Mutt's tried to keep up. He's, he's really trying. He's Oh, God. Okay. It's fine. We're, we're okay. We got this. Oh, my God. Okay, combat. That That's what we could do right now, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to pull out my sword. And then we're going to target onto this guy, I think. Hang on. Tab? That should be tab, right? Oh, <laughs> oh God. It <laughs> okay, it's fine. We got this. It's okay. Um, Now, unfortunately, I don't know. Ooh, okay, we're fine. We got... Woo! Okay. Amazing. Oh! Oh, God, that hurt. I've got to remember what the parry button is. I think it's Q. Okay. It's fine. We got this. We got this. It's okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so combat's a little bit weird. So they recommend the mod that allows you to turn off uh, the slow-mo. Which I could see why, because it's, it's kind of jarring in third person, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> so I have no idea how to counter. It's not working. At all. So yeah, the counter button isn't the counter button with this mod. Uh, I <laughs> It's fine. It's, it's okay. You know what? I've had fun. You know what I want to try? Dice. <laughs> um, I think I'm talking to Mud, not, not the guy I actually need to be talking to. End dialogue. I, I don't want to be there. Okay. Also, where the bloody hell did that guy go? Okay, let me talk to this guy. I'll be with you. God be with you too, good sir. I'd like to play dice. Oh, so the UI is over there what is that oh what okay hang on f7 could we maybe <laughs> we just go under the table um nice but okay uh can we go above oh you know what we actually probably could play this but it would be very awkward <laughs> <laughs> very, very awkward. Okay. Yeah, I can't see what those dice are uh, at all right now, if I'm completely honest. Um, I can't even really zoom in on them. Well, uh, you win, good sir. It was lovely. I just paid 50 groschen to uh, to lose. Great. Thank thanks for that. Oh, my God. It's Grand Theft Auto Henry. Amazing. Uh, can we literally do... Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. This is, this is great. No one would ever be able to play from this angle. Um, <laughs> this is so bloody weird. Hello, Captain Bernard. I'd like to do some training, please. Because I found out that block is, is not what I thought it was whatsoever. So, ooh, okay. Uh, so, it's actually on left alt for some reason. Holy crap. We actually got a hit. Oh, this is so bloody awkward. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's so awkward. But you know what? This is quite fun. I'm liking this. Okay. Let me get around this guy. Here we go. Let me let me do a little bit of a uh, a side shuffle. Okay. Oh, oh, block it. Nice. Okay, and then walk around him a bit more. Oh, no. Okay, that, that kind of sucked. Um, I'm keeping my finger on left alt just in case I need it because I'm probably going to need it any second now. I'm also going to try and go for the perfect parry. That's not going to work. Oh, my God, it did. Wow. I'm surprised that bloody worked. All right. Oh. Block it. Nice. Oh, that's incredible. You know what? This could, with a little bit of practice, be quite playable. It's just getting Henry in the right position and also having to use the camera to aim the sword, which you don't really have to do with the, oh, I got Xbox pad or even mouse and keyboard. It's not as kind of involved as this in terms of camera use. It's very weird though. Strafing with Q and E is just a little bit odd. It feels like uh, I'm playing something like Doom. It's it's weird. I, I just want to see if we can actually do some damage here. Um, I'm gonna try and keep my parry above him. So yeah, to get above him, you have to literally look at the sky. It's very involved. But as I said, with a little bit of practice, I think people could actually get quite good with this. Plus, you can still do. Uh, the side dodges, which is actually easier with this than it is in the normal game. So for those of you who are wondering, can you do combat in third person? Yes, you can. It's just uh, a little bit odd. <laughs> Had enough? Well, not really, but uh, we can see about doing a couple more things. I want to see if we could maybe take down a bandit. I think that's the ultimate quest in today's video, is if we can actually take someone down. Uh, we've already taken down a peasant, so why not a bandit? Oh, that was nice. I like that. Can we fast travel to somewhere like Rovna and hopefully get into a random encounter? You can't do that right now. Uh, why not? Why can't we fast travel? Is it because of the mod? Hang on. Uh, if we get off the horse here and try and fast travel off the horse, will that work instead? Okay, so I'm going to go up to Rovna and fast travel. You can't do that right now. Okay, so it won't let me fast travel. I'm thinking, logistically, that's probably because the camera's off the ground. It thinks that Henry is also off the ground, if that makes any sense. Because if you're, let's say, on a hill and you try fast traveling in the game, it won't let you. So how am I going to get down? Um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna be safe and just fast travel here. Are you kidding? I could not die now. I've made it so far. I'm back on normal land. I can do this. Right. Yes! No! What? Why would you taunt me? Why would you? It's a dash now. It's a... Ow! So that could be a deal breaker for a lot of people who like to use the fast traveling KCD. Although, if you wanted to get fully immersed... Oh, God. <laughs> Bloody roof. Uh, if you want to get fully immersed, I would say don't fast travel. I just wanted to use that to see if I could get into a quick random encounter. But you know what we could do? Just go hunting for some cumins this way, I suppose. I do like that it's uh, allowing you to be able to take the camera out. Also, the frame rate does drop quite a bit when it's this far out. Also, Henry's... Uh... Oh, that's weird. Henry's going all weird. That's odd. Okay. Um, I don't even know what this way is. Have I been this way before? Okay. Let me go down here. Ah, it's so cool seeing it from this distance as well. Like, you could get some pretty cool pan shots with this. What I will say is if they were able to have it so you could unlock the camera from being stuck on Henry, this would be fantastic for doing pan shots and uh, cinematic shots. Let's see if we can go this way. Um, there you go. That's a bit better. Um, that's almost like the real game. Okay, uh, let's go down here. Oh, hang on. Oh, is that the woodcutter's camp? What is that? See, th this is why I love the game, because you never know what you're going to stumble across. Oh, this is the Herbalist! Oh, oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this from when the, uh, the old alchemy glitch was still a thing, where you'd go in here and fly away. <laughs> is, is that still a thing? I'm gonna check that in a minute. Hang on. Um, I think it's if you go in here. Let me pan out a little bit. Oh god, the camera's gonna suck in here. Could I... Ple no, Henry, please. Henry, come on! Henry, oh, for tight spaces, Henry sucks. Okay, let me... What the... No, excuse me, I need this, thank you. Um, where the bloody hell did she go? Oh, crap, did it... Oh! Oh, of course! You normally can't see that, but if you run through someone, they disappear to let you pass through. And you can actually physically see them disappear. Oh, that's really awesome. Yeah, so for tight spaces, uh, th this this is not a good idea. I, I wouldn't recommend this. Can we also jump? Woohoo! <laughs> yes, we can. Amazing. Uh, is that the inn in the glade? Hang on, I think. That's the inn, isn't it? Okay. And then you have the carriage over there with the, um, with the woman. Yeah, it is the inn in the glade. Awesome. This is so cool, though, because you were able to literally zoom out really far. Actually, let's see how far we can actually go with this. Um, okay, it's still going. <laughs> still, still. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I've entered the upside down. Okay, that's not good. How far can you go with this? I'm just going to, like, spin the mouse wheel as much as possible right now. You can hear me just spinning. I want to see how far we can get, and how far we can get before the world disappears. Um, what is that over there? Do you guys see that? It's like a, like a white building in the distance over there. I don't know what that is. This is great, though, for, like, exploring and stuff, because you can see, like, there's a little pond or little lake over there, and there's that house or building over there. Um, uh, can I see, like, Townburg and stuff from up here? Maybe. If we pan around, where the hell would Townburg be from here? Uh, oh, hang on, there's bit something big over there. A lot of the buildings are starting to disappear, and also there's a massive glitch in the ground right there. <laughs> oh my god, this is fantastic. So yeah, I'm obviously going to be leaving a link in the description below for you to download this and check it out for yourself, because I think if you have PC, this is one of the coolest mods I've seen in a long, long while. I think I can see Townburg over there. You see that? Northwest? I think that's Townburg. All right, let me let me zoom back in. Oh, God, why did I do this? Oh, no. But anyway, uh, that's the mod. Uh, I really bloody like it. I think it's incredible. If you want to be completely immersed in Kingdom Come Deliverance, I obviously recommend the first person. Um, because that's how the game was designed to be played. But if you want to see Bohemia from a different angle, this is the best option. I don't really know what else to say. I think this is absolutely bloody fantastic. And I don't know why this hasn't really been talked about more. Anyway, as I said, link in the description below. I noticed that they 
haven't updated this mod in a while, but if you see this video, please allow the ability to be able to unsnap from Henry. I think that'd be really, really cool. But also, I think they just deserve some praise, because I think this is a really interesting mod. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.